what up though youtube so i'm back with another video and for this particular series i am going to be explaining songs to y'all so i made a post again <laughs> on my instagram and i just told them that if you could hear me explain any song that i've made what song would you want to hear about it was stole my heart ego and life's great so those are the three songs that i am going to be explaining about so stay tuned i know i'm not that easy to love i come off me when i be me in the hood it's hard to say sometimes because my pride be like you need in the what go grab that bottle you just need a new cup then i go do it i don't listen to myself lately i've been feeling like i've been somebody else sometimes i go through shit that i can't get through by myself my ego get the trip and says you need somebody help remember last time when you ain't keep it to yourself thought i was fighting demons it'd be me against myself Give it things to people I be needing for myself I'm just speaking for myself My ego caught a shot so I don't be thinking by myself Always trying to see the good in people We got Stole My Heart And if you haven't heard Stole My Heart You really need to go hear it <laughs> I did my thing with that one Alright Stole My Heart goes like this um, With no gun Somehow you shot me down I play my part You only know the I just was in like a place where I wanted to make something I could feel. I didn't want to make no no song where it was just like directed to anyone in particular. I wanted it to be a song that I could like release some things. The beat told me what to say. If that make let me stop saying if that makes sense. I don't give a if it makes sense to you or not okay i'm telling you what i did and what happened <laughs> on the hook it was just it just i heard you stole my heart and then you let me down and if you hear the beat like even i feel like i made it say that in a way you get what i'm saying because like with beats you can finesse different flows and different word plays to make a beat sound like that's what it was supposed to say but whatever I ended up uh coming up with the the flow when i was listening to it and i was just like okay this gotta go in that direction just wrote the song when i was writing the song i put at the top sing an amy winehouse type vibe like i was going for like the vibe for the hook i wanted it to be like an amy winehouse type feel i love amy winehouse rest in peace i just love her voice it's something about her voice that was just like you felt it i wouldn't just say pain because you felt that for sure but it just it was unique as fuck okay i don't give a fuck what i say she was that girl originally i was supposed to sing the song i make songs and i just i bitch out of them and i'll be like I want to sing it. I'm going to just give it to somebody else. I'm going to let somebody else do it. I ended up going to the studio making a reference. I bitched out again. I was just like, I'm going to just go home and go over it. And you know, I come back and I'll do it again right. Whole time, I really could have just did it. I was in my head so much. And it was just like, I, I don't like rushing. The song, that particular song, I felt like I loved that song. That I was just like, I don't care if it take me a year. I need it to be exactly how I hear it. I'm not rushing it. And the fact that I was in my head so much about singing, I was just like, no, you're not going to play with this song. I was on tour and I played the song to a few people that was close to me. And I was just like, what you think? And I remember Curtis like really just like, I watched him zone out while he was listening to it. Like he was just like, and when the song went off, I'm like, Curtis, you're like, huh? Redoing it seemed fake, but in person, like real life, you would have to like go through some shit like that to really like know, like when somebody zones out to a song, like I do it all the time, but watching him respond like that to a song I had just made, it was just like, yeah, I did that. 
You know what I'm saying? So he like, what's the plan? What you gonna do with this? And I just was telling him like, yeah, like I'm not rushing this. You know, like I I got little things I want to tweak with it. And um, even when I made the reference for myself, I didn't put that emotion with my verse. I just kind of said it, you know what I'm saying? And I was telling him, he like, I like it. And I was just like, no, it ain't how I hear it though. Like this is the idea, but this ain't how I hear it. A <laughs> couple weeks go by and this day I was just literally writing that whole day, jumping on Instagram for literally two minutes, literally. And right when I was getting off and right when I was about to get off, something caught my attention. And it said, Amy Winehouse. So instantly, I'm like, what the fuck will be the chance? It's like, what about Amy Winehouse? And I read it, and it was like, uh, Detroit Amy Winehouse. Who? What the fuck will be the chances? So it was South, North, Southwest. I checked one, two on the way to third. So sick. Put a straight jacket on my word. So sick. They think that something's in the earth. They think I'm gone, but I'm fine like a woman's curve. My personality is far from your reality. I'm closer to your girl. Now come on. Hold Yo, I don't think it was that particular video that I seen, but I was watching it and I was just like, I love her. I, I love her. Who is she? So I go on her page and it say follow back. And I'm like, yes. I was like, if she follow me, she'll fuck with me, bro. Like, if she follow me, she, she gonna wanna work with me. And then I ended up going to her manager page and I went to um, whoever the person was that had shot the video and everybody was following me from her side. Oh yeah, she gonna work with me. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, bro, she can't say no. Like, it's no way she gonna say she don't wanna do a song with me. Like, I am very humble, don't get it twisted. And I tell people all the time, humble do not mean hush. Like, pop your shit when you got to pop your shit. You feel me? And I'm just like, ain't no fucking way. All of y'all following me? Y'all, you wouldn't choose to do a song with me? Hell no, girl. Come over here. Like, you got to work with me, bro. And I got something for you. Like, I hear this. Like, yo, I ended up DMing her. And, well, of course, I followed her, her whole camp, everything. You feel me? Like, um... I gave her her flowers, of course, because it wasn't on no like, oh, I just need you on this song. So I'm like, no, like you are the Detroit Amy Winehouse. Like you got it. And I love Amy Winehouse. Oh, so just like this is beautiful. <laughs> then I'm like, what the fuck would be the chances of this lady being the Detroit Amy Winehouse after I just wrote? This is what I'm going for. And I just felt like it was so aligned. I felt like it was it was a gift. Like, here you go your song ended up hitting her up or whatever and i was just like um i got this song like i can really hear you on it like let me know how you want to play it blah 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 green lighted she was ready so before we actually linked up i ran it by a couple of people everybody was like you need to do that song by yourself like stop being scary bro like do that shit by yourself and i'm just like I feel y'all, but I'm like, bro, she perfect. Like, if I can hear her and see this and she is exactly what the fuck I envision, like, I, I could do it by myself, but even if I did it by myself, this is not how I see it. Like, she is perfect. Like, I don't care. I'm going with her. Fuck me doing that shit. I don't want to do it. Like, I want her to do it. <laughs> and when I had seen, like, her followers, I was just like, it's only a matter of time. Like she just need, and she just need more people to hear her. She just need more eyes on her. Like why wouldn't it not work for her? Like what the fuck? I'm helping. Like it, it was just so perfect. Like when I say like this was one of my favorite features I have ever done because it just everything was just beautiful. Like everything was natural as fuck. The energy, the vibes, everything. Like y'all. That was like one of the best moments in creating a song I have ever had so far. Where it was like, this is exactly what I wanted all the way down. You know what I'm saying? I got to work with somebody. I 
I got to be like, look, this is what I need you to say. Do your own style. This is how we going to rock it. But do whatever you comfortable with. If you want to take something out, you want to change something, go ahead. Y'all, when I say this girl went in there, chef's kiss. Like, I love her so fucking much for this. Instagram where I was just rapping at acapella and it hit 100k likes on Instagram you know and it just was like confirming like even more where I was just like I love this song and I think I love it I'm not even gonna say I think I know I love the song so much because I was really really getting certain things out you know like um I went through a particular relationship where um I felt like I couldn't be a woman. I'm always being told I'm aggressive and I'm being uh masculine and all this other stuff and it's just like no, that's not even me. Like not for real. You know, like I do that to protect me and usually when I try to give a man the 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 space to be a man they drop the ball in some kind of way i really get hurt behind it like not even in like a like mentally hurt or like i just feel like my my feelings is hurt like literally physically hurt like every time i give a man control to run something in my life something fucked up happened to me and it scares the fuck out of me where it just be like, I really be putting my life on the line trying to let a man be a man and um, they don't really protect me. You know what I'm saying? The song was just basically like, just I don't like being with a man and when I get mad and I have a real legitimate reason to be mad, you get mad because I'm mad what the fuck? I was in a situation where I would get upset and instead of putting my hands on the person, I would, I'm gonna just keep it a book. I would tear shit up in the house. And it got to a point where that was a problem. So I was just like, okay, well, I only tear my shit up. And that was still a problem. But then when you get mad, you get to punch shit, you get to tear shit up, you get to knock shit over. And I can't, I'm not finna swing on you for doing that. Like, it's not fair. <laughs> that wasn't the whole relate, like, that wasn't, like, how I ended up walking away. Like, oh, you stole my heart, you let me down, I'm gone. Like, it's a real deeper reason to why I ended up leaving and saying, fuck that. I'll say that for another video. I'm not shooting that video until I can shoot it exactly how I see it. I don't care how long I gotta wait. So that's the reason why y'all still haven't got a video for Stole My Heart because I am no longer settling for videos. If it don't feel right, it don't feel right. I'm not rushing it, I'm not forcing it. 
and I'm not putting myself in a fucked up situation with these videographers anymore. Like, you're not about to play with my time. You're not about to play with my money. You're not about to play with my career. Like, you just not about to do that. Like, it's a group thing. So if we come together to work, we all need to put in 100%. And if you're not willing to put in 100%, but when some money come in, you want some, or when you get a couple of followers, you want to be weird. Like, I ain't got time for that. Like, you can go ahead on somebody else because I will wait. <laughs> the next song. Ego. If you haven't heard the song Ego, it goes like this. I they lying, don't believe him. My ego ain't to blame. Look. Fuck them, I don't need them, that's my ego talking I know they lying, don't believe them, that's my ego talking My ego ain't the blame, she protect me from my feelings My ego pick emotions cause she numb to my feelings Fuck them, you don't need them, that's my ego talking Stop showing love when you see them, that's my ego talking My ego ain't the blame Yeah Look I know I'm not that easy to love I come off mean when I be needing a hug It's hard to say sometimes Cause my pride be like you need no what? Go grab that bottle, you just need a new cup And I go do it, I don't listen to myself Lately I've been feeling like I've been somebody else Sometimes I go through shit that I can't get through by myself My ego get the trip and says you need somebody help Remember last time when you ain't keep it to yourself Thought I was it's one of How the way I feel about stole my heart That's exactly how I feel about ego when I had a spiritual awakening. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. I was going through a breakup. And it was a lot of stuff that I was mentally going through. As far as why me and this person broke up. Um, me even having to be real with myself. As far as like how did I end up getting involved with a person like that the fact that like everything you thought was true was a lie like you have to readjust your brain you know and then you gotta look at everything like the fuck but then at the same time like it was easy for me to come out of that situation because I'm not stupid so when the math wasn't mathing, like, I might catch on a little late, but I'm going to figure it out. Like, I'm going to figure you out. And when I do, if you ain't on your P's and Q's or the person that you trying to put this mask on to be, I'm going to figure you out. And you're not going to, like, I'm going to move exactly how I'm supposed to. I had a house fire on top of that, and I lost everything. Um the manager of my apartment building. I don't know when she found out I'm Rocky. After she did that, she ended up uh, wanting more money from me for my rent, which is one thing when it makes sense, but it's another thing when I know you're just trying to take from me or you're just trying to get down. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't one of them. I don't care who you is. Like, I'm fair, but I ain't no ham. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I had to deal with her screenshot and stuff on my page. Um, she was just a bitch, an evil-ass bitch. And then I had to deal with this one particular police officer in that area. He just, every time he see me, he just locked me up and it was so weird because I was trying to tell people like bro he always fucking with me like I could just come out of my apartment building and he's behind my car and I go to jail like you know because of course like my shit at the time and mm, let me say now but at the time uh it wasn't all the way together so and he knew that so it's just like he just sit outside sit behind my car wait till I come outside come on Let's go. And it's annoying when people always think I'm like, no, you had to do something. You had to do something. And I'm just like, no, I'm not. And it seemed like nobody was listening or believing me. And he ended up apologizing. He came to my mom's apartment 
and just so happened I was over there at eight o'clock in the morning. He apologized and said exactly what I what I was telling people. Like he just like, I'm sorry, I was always fucking with you, and he even said like, you always bonded out faster than I thought, and it's just like, what? And then like, he wanted to talk to me, but it's just like, sir, fuck you being a police officer. On top of that. Something is wrong with you, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Tell me, like, his mom and his grandma passed around the time after, like, he was bothering me and all this other shit. Like, bro, it was just too fucking much. Just for him to turn around and do some moho shit right afterwards. You feel me? So it was just, it was a lot that I was going through um, over in that area. But uh, I got to a place where I just broke down. Like, real bad. Like, real bad. Like, it seemed like I was crying every day. Um, just, I remember praying and just saying, like, I don't want to be angry no more. Like, I don't. Like, it's draining. I'm tired of it. I don't want to be angry. Like, I don't want to hold on to shit. Like, this shit going to make me crash out. Like, being as angry as I was about a lot of shit. I had moments where I just did not give a fuck. And I genuinely think nobody understands how scary not giving a fuck really feel until you actually feel it, where you just like, this can go one or two ways. And I'm not going to say which two ways because this is YouTube, but to actually mean it, feel it, and know it, yeah, and I just remember, like, just trying to find reasons to just care, like, please, something, just a little bit, like, I'm running out of options to care, like, I'm going to say everything, and really, you know what I'm saying, like, I, we going to go out with a bang, but I mean it, like, I just remember, like, meditating again, um, to the point where like to the point where like I was scared to meditate like it'd be moments where like I really be scared like my body would feel like it, it felt like something was trying to make me not do it um I felt something touch me and when I looked it was a blind piece of hair on me and that color has never been in my house, let alone in my hair, let alone in anybody hair that has been to my house. I heard things like not demonic. I hate when people just assume devil shit, but it wasn't. Um, it felt like something was trying to keep me in a dark ass place. It was just like when I wasn't trying to work on myself, nothing happened but it seemed like when I was like really just trying so hard to just cry let shit go deal with shit heal from shit it seemed like that's when the oddest shit the worst shit seemed like it'll happen it was just like something was really just trying to like stop me from doing it and I got to a point where I always knew about shrooms but y'all know how these phones and this government and all this other stuff work. So the moment I had a thought, like, maybe I should take shroom. All of a sudden, shroom commercials, Meek Mill on shrooms, this person on shroom, this person talk about shroom, 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 shroom. And honestly, I was just like, maybe, okay, fuck it. <laughs> and again, I always knew about shrooms. I hate when people, like, if you are ignorant to shrooms, then just say that. But if you don't know, don't act like you do. Because I hate when people try to, like, make shrooms seem like it's, like, the the most, like, one of the most dangerous drugs in the world. Or it's, I don't even look at shrooms like it's drugs, to be quite honest with you. Like, I just don't. I'll tell y'all about my shroom trip another time. 
this kind of will make everything make sense as far as how ego came about. So I'll just stop it right there. Fuck the shroom trip. If y'all want me to tell y'all about the shroom trip, just comment and I'll make a video about it. During the trip, I ended up learning a lot about myself. That's how I was able to even make the song Ego. I was so angry at who I felt like I started to become until I realized like, bro, this person exists to protect who I really am. You know, like it's a difference between September and Rocky. It's a big ass difference. And it's like, as much as I want to be September, I can't because I'm not in an environment where I could be her. Being her, I want to last this long. Like, I had to be Rocky in order to protect September. Once I realized that shit, it was just like, how you going to be mad at your ego when it was keeping you safe this whole time? Like, did it put you on bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> like, did it put you in certain situations? Yeah. But... Do you think September would have last this fucking long? Like, the sweet person that she really is and the person that you really are. Like, do you really think living the life you live, you could have just did it being her? You needed her. Me not being angry at my ego and just understanding that it is what it is like shit that song is really deep the shroom story is how i was able to even put words like that together i love michael jackson i love him like he can't do no wrong in my eyes I don't want to hear none of them weird ass stories y'all got about that man like not over here you feel me like we don't do that like no, I love, love, love Michael Jackson. Even as a kid, Whatever Happens was always a song I knew I was going to do over. I'm a person that just felt like before you touch certain shit, like you have to respect what it, what it was, you know, and what it is. And a Michael Jackson song, bitch, you bet not, <laughs> you bet not sample no Mike Jack. And be playing, bro. Like, you cannot do that. Like, not in my world. Like, I told y'all on the last video, it's a respect thing for music. Like, I respect music. I don't, I can't do that. It's not in me. So, I had that sample first. And then I, I went through the whole experience to come up with Ego. And I wrote, like, three different songs to the beat way before Ego. And it's just like the songs was straight, but it just it it wasn't hitting like it didn't feel like this is it. You know what I'm saying? And I had just left it alone for a minute. And then after all of that, I played the beat again. And I just thought to myself, like, disregard everything you already wrote. Don't think about none of that, because sometimes I make a song and I just keep remembering the first time. Or the first song I made or whatever. And I'm just like, get that out your head. Back at zero. All you got is the beat. And I just started fucking writing. And the crazy part is like, I didn't even realize what I wrote until I went to the studio and did the song. When I went to the studio and did the song, I played it so many times after leaving the studio. And I was just listening. I'm like, damn. I'm like, bitch, this is deep. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know. You, you, some of the stuff that I say, you will literally have to understand what I'm saying in order to understand me. If you don't understand what I'm saying, then you just gonna miss a lot of stuff that I say. But some songs, I don't realize what I'm saying until it's made and I'm done with it. And sometimes it takes me like three to six months for me to actually get what I said. Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
And that was one of the that was one of those moments. Um, I wrote the treatment to ego. Again, I'm not rushing it at all. It has to go exactly how I say it's gonna go, or I'm not doing it. <laughs> like, and I also made a video on Instagram wrapping it and the I don't know, I think because it's Michael Jackson or because it's a sample, I don't know, but I couldn't put it on TikTok. Um, which sucked, but whatever. Um, I love Ego. I really do. That song, that song really mean a lot to me. Last but not least, Life's Great. If you haven't heard Life's Great, it goes like this. Below funds getting bigger, want the cash with another hoe. They ain't getting bigger, drop a bitch and get a better hoe. Bitches want a link, then that's cool, that's just a double roll. Mama told me kill everybody, show who they fucking with. Doing crazy shit has never been on my bucket list. Call me what you want, you don't know me, don't send my government. No, I got them worried, they never know who I'm coming with. Preacher asked me what I want, I sent my mind back. I give up all of this money to get some time back. So, how the hell <laughs> life is great came about was I was. In a relationship, and this producer named Wayne came over, and he was playing a lot of beats, and the life's great. I don't even know if that was what the beat was called, but the beat came on, and I just remember hearing it, and I was like, that bitch hard, and everybody went there and was like, yeah, yeah, like. I just kept saying, like, no, that bitch sweet. <laughs> the nigga that I was with, he walked up on me and was like, right, I can't do shit with it. He like, that's my yo speed. He like, I feel like you will go crazy on it. Like, you will know what to do with it. And I was like, I want it. But I didn't know dog, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, too, like, I know when I'm working, Shut up. If I'm going through beats, I don't want to hear you freestyling to them. If I'm going through beats, I don't want you talking about, yeah, I'll go great. Shut the fuck up. It ain't about you. Fucking up my mode, man. <laughs> like, how y'all want to play it? Like, blah, blah, blah. Now, the thing is this, right? I don't, it's some weird shit going on with Life's Great. And I was kind of like trying to figure out, do I want to speak on it on here? Or do I want to just not do it? But my whole purpose of my channel and what I'm doing right now is to really let y'all in on a lot of stuff that y'all just don't know about or behind the scenes so y'all can get a clear understanding of me and what's going on with me in my world. So I ended up doing a song shot the video with Jay Phil. My homemade band-aid, I cut my finger open. I didn't have an idea for it. I just knew the beat was like, you gotta be real on this bitch. So I just headed it how I feel right now. Like a lot of my songs that's deep, I just write at the top how I feel right now. That's why sometimes it takes me a minute to process what I'm saying because I just be getting it all out and it takes for me to come out of that situation and then hear it and be like, oh shit, you know, the moments where it was just like, I'm just being honest. While shooting that video, the video where I had the ponytail with the white pants and I had did, um, make another one if you haven't seen make another one it's this simple the timber big heart i'm mobbing out with my pistol look if these niggas mad rocky wear another ass hold weight around this bitch and i ain't mumble raps i got bitches paranoid where they stopping that little nigga mad because i'm fucking up the starter pack the backstory on that um that day i got into it with somebody that was close to me at that time and i got into it with them because uh, I want to say he was turning 12 years old. It's a little boy in that video. 
uh, not the one that was rapping. We was by the gate. You see who really got your back when them times. We was by a gate, and I hugged him. He dark skin. Uh, his parents let him come hang with me for a day. A uh, smart kid, real smart kid, just was going through some stuff. They just wanted me to let him hang with me, talk to him, kick it with him. And, you know, if I ain't got shit else, I got brothers, little brothers. Like, I'm the big brother, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, when it comes to black boys, I handle them with so much care because I would want somebody to do that for my brothers or I would I would have wanted someone to do that for my brothers when they was young, you know, like. So, um, we had fun, you know, shooting a video all day. I done shot two different videos at the same time. And we ended up going to Ypsilanti, I want to say. I, I, I damn near think it was a college in Ypsilanti. We went out there and I was supposed to perform. I ended up getting out there late, I want to say, or it was getting shut down, one or the other. I can't remember. But we was in the parking lot. I'm like, I ain't come out here for nothing. So we're going to parking lot pimp then. So we out there drinking and still shooting. We seeing some of everybody, people coming outside, taking pictures and vibing with us and, you know, taking shots, all that other stuff. So at some point, I pull, um, I pull the kiddo to the side. And I was kicking it with him. And I'm just like, what's up with you? You know, like, what you going through? What's, what's going on with you in your world? You know what I'm saying? Like, really? Because it's like I finally get to really talk to him. Like, we done had our fun, but now I got to do what your parents asked me to do for real. You know? And I remember just asking him, like, you know, like, you can talk to me. Like, what's up? And at first... He was kind of like a little reserved, like he didn't really want to talk too much. And I just had to tell him like, look, it's different when you talking to your mama and your daddy. I was one of them kids where I probably had just, I don't know, not even all the way because me and my mama had a good relationship, but like talking to your sister, your auntie, your cousin or your homegirl mama, you, you just let it out a little bit different. So I was letting him know, like, look, like, you know, you can talk to me. Like, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Like, you know, I'd be able to word it better for you. You just got to let me know what's going on with you. And in the midst of us talking, when I say y'all, that little boy eyes was so watery. Like, I was really kicking it with him and he was like starting to like really talk back. And when I say like his eyes, it seemed like he was just whole in tears, like, oh God, like how I would. And I'm grown, you know what I'm saying? Like I, when I gotta hold some tears, <laughs> then I drop nothing. You know what I'm saying? But um I noticed his eye contact. Right. And I was so locked in on them that when I put one and one and two and two together, I'm realizing he not all the way. It's, he right there, but he not all the way because something is throwing him off. So I follow his eyes. I'm not going to say who, but a particular person, a grown ass person that I'm with. It's like literally making jokes and saying, oh, man, fuck that shit and da 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 and let that young nigga do what he want to do and blah, blah, blah. And y'all, I ain't going to lie to somebody else and to a few people that was out there. I ain't got to say who, but it was a few people that felt like I overreacted and they don't know why I was acting like that or so mad and this is why first of all we got somebody else kid with me you know what i'm saying like yeah it's fun 
But at the end of the day, I ain't no motherfucking kid. And this is somebody else's child. He been hanging with adults all day. I don't know if y'all smoked while this little boy was in the car or not. I don't even remember if he was in the car with me. Mind y'all, this was four years ago. Yeah, this was four going on five years ago. I don't remember if he was in a car with me or if he was in a car with them. But anyways, niggas been smoking, drinking. I'm shooting a video. I'm cussing. All type of shit around somebody else's kid. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, they wanted me to, they they like, no, you do your thing. We love you, blah, blah. I get it. But at the same time, it's just out of respect, bro. Like, yeah, no, no. No, you gonna have fun, but then we gonna we gonna we gonna what's up? Why you not listening to your mama? Why you not listening to your daddy? What's going on with you at school? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm one of them. Like no, we gonna have fun, but we gonna we gonna do the hard part too. Like you can't get just the fun, Rocky. Like no, you know what I'm saying? And for another grown ass man to sit. In this kid face and tell me to stop talking his ear off and let that young nigga do what he want to do. You don't have nothing. Nothing. You don't even have a car. You living with somebody else. He watching us. He want he he think this rap shit is and like I had to tell I, I got so mad because when I'm talking to him and then I'm hearing him saying that, I'm like, that should be the last thing coming out your mouth. You need to be over here talking to him. You need to be over here saying what I'm saying to him. You a man. Maybe you could have pulled it all the way out of him and got him to really, you know what I'm saying? Like, but no, you want to be funny. You want to be cute. You want to, huh, huh, huh. And any, I said it all out. I'm like, anybody that think that shit funny over there or got something to say or making a joke about any fucking thing, y'all can get the fuck on. Because at the end of the day, that's not cool. I had to tell the little boy, I'm like, I ain't even being funny. I said, you see all of this? I said, none of us got any fucking thing for real. You don't want to be like none of us out here. That nigga ain't got shit neither. You got what I'm saying? Like, and it just, it really, 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 really hurt my feelings and pissed me off real, real bad to the point where, like, I shattered my phone. The police came, all type of stuff, you know? And it, it just all revolved around, like, bro. That can't happen around me. Not with no, not with no kid. I wouldn't care if that boy wasn't blood. Somebody else me, oh, that ain't my problem. Oh, that ain't my people. I don't care. That's a kid. You know what I'm saying? So, the video show was ruined. That night was ruined. But whatever. That's why I don't talk to this particular person no more. I've never talked to them again. And I'm kind of like just breezing through the story. But that wasn't cool. Um, so, yeah. Ended up putting a video out and shit like that. Fast forward, right? So, I'm going through all of this different stuff. And... I was updating some songs on BMI. And I had somebody sit next to me and she was like, is it a way you can show me how to do what you're doing and I could just do it for you? And I'm like, that's a good idea. So I just randomly picked the song. I clicked it and I was like, look, and when I went like, look, I'm like, whoa, hold on. I told y'all where I got the beat from. Now, 
I don't know if y'all are familiar or if you're not with BMI. BMI, the splits is not 100%. The split is 200. So me as the artist, I get 100. The producer get 100. So that's 200. Now, whatever you do with your split is on you. It ain't got nothing to do with me. But I see this nigga. I see his name as a writer on my song. And it's not, it, the split is not what's pissing me off. The fact that I don't want to see this name is not what's pissing me off. The fact that, of course, your dick sucking ass just had to be involved some kind of fucking weird ass way is not what pissed me off it's the fact that you put yourself as a fucking writer on my song let me explain something to y'all the only person that is listed as a writer on any of my songs is henny and henny is listed as a writer on my song because one day <laughs> i was working on uh splitting whatever I needed to catch up on and splitting and making sure you know and I was so concerned with giving the producers they split that for some odd reason which at the time it was Henny that I was working on a split for I don't know if I clicked the wrong stuff but some kind of way I accidentally gave him like he's listed as a writer and not the producer but it's all it takes is a couple of little clicks. Like, I literally can fix it. But that's how much I don't give a fuck. Like, bro, long I was just worried about, get your goddamn split. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you go to some of my songs right now, like, you will see Darius. That's Henny. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was on a mistake. But, again, I literally can sit right here right now and fix it. But it was just like, I don't give a fuck. I know what the fuck I did. But now I'm like, okay, let me change it before people just overdo it. But you, nigga, like, don't play with me. Don't fucking play with me. You ain't never, never in your fucking life wrote nothing. Never gave me a, a, a rock say this and I said it. Nothing. I don't care what you and, and your homeboy do for a split. But you could have been listed under a lot of other stuff. Why would you make sure or why would you put yourself as a writer on my song? And then when I seen it, mind y'all, this was just a couple of months ago. When I seen it, I reached out, made this post. I'm like, hey, if y'all know who Wayne is, can y'all tell him to hit me up, blah, blah. Nothing happened to the point where, like, I just started digging myself. I don't even fucking remember how the fuck I found this page, but I found it. And I DM'd him. And I was just like, damn, like, that really hurt my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you... I don't care what you do with your split, but why y'all have to put him under as like a writer on my shit? Like, I get, I wouldn't have had to be if it wasn't for his connection with you, but not as a writer, bro. Like, don't do me like that, bro. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? And let's not even talk about the fact that this, that's another conversation. I'll do another video for that, but, um, so he ended up video chatting like two or three times. I didn't answer because I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to sound aggressive. I don't want to seem like I'm being mean. I don't want to, like, I want to, it's not a big deal. Maybe it's something that can be fixed, but I was really in my feelings real, real bad to the point where it was just like, I, I threw that out there. I, I, I can't even talk right now. You know what I'm saying? And I had other shit going on where it's just like, y'all, do y'all not know? Now all of a sudden, this particular person is telling people he's getting his lawyers involved and um, something with some, something about something with the beat I don't know But it's so weird because it's just like bro Nothing came up About this song Until I said Why is he a writer 
why is he listed as a writer on my song? And all of a sudden, you as the producer, you talking about getting your lawyer, you talking to people that's not even in my camp. And you bringing up something I've never heard nothing about until I reach out and say, why is he listed as a writer? I didn't do it. I got 100%. You got 50. He got 50. That means you did something with your 100, not me. You got what I'm saying? And again, this never came up. Never. And I'm not hard to find. This never came up until I'm asking, why is this man listed as a writer on my song? So I don't, I, I don't know. I love Life's Great. Um, hopefully after this, we can figure out what's, what, what's going to happen or I'm gonna just have to. I'm gonna just have to take the song off. Um. It's it's a lot of things that I haven't been able to talk about. Well, a lot of stuff that I could talk about that y'all probably would want to know or and I've always said for a long time now everything is going to make sense me doing this and rolling out these videos and recording stuff like this is literally just the start of what's gonna happen so y'all can understand why I always said everything that makes sense. Um, for producers that be reaching out I don't be minding working with people, bro, but this is why I don't. It'd be one thing, and then out of nowhere, a couple years later, it's always something else. Like, I would really hate if I have to take this on now. But if that's what I got to do, then that's what's going to have to happen. But hopefully, all it takes is a couple of little clicks and A real conversation. But yeah. That's the story on them songs. So. I hope y'all like this video. And I hope they gave y'all some insight on. Those three songs. I'm not even finna let that change my vibe. Everything is gonna work out. Everything is gonna be okay. It got to. It like it's no it's no reason why I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Um. But yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Y'all finna get the real answers on. And. The real story. So. Love you, smoochie poos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Even when it ain't, I still tell them life's great. Think about the money y'all made, same shit, different page. You ain't helping, then you bitches in the way. I don't ask if you'll ride. Either you is or you ain't. Either way, I'm still straight. If you ain't helping, then you niggas in the way. I'ma get it.